Today we are going to discuss about complement system. What is the role of this complement system in the immunology and how exactly it is useful for removing of bacterial infection that we will look. So basically complement factors are protein present in serum. The cell lysis by antibody or immunoglobulin is mediated by this complement system. So complement is generally abbreviated as a C. Now these complement factors are also 9. So they are designated as a C1 to C9. The complement activity is abolized if serum is incubated at 56 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes as most of the component are thermolabile. Further, the half-life of this complement system at room temperature is only few hours. So first you have to remember complement factor, they are total 9 component and they are called as C1 to C9. Further, in detail of this complement system that we will look. So when immunoglobulin or antibody is bound on the bacteria or antigen, the immunoglobulin fixes the first component of complement C1. So first component that is called C1 which has three subunit. They are the QRS, C1Q, C1R and C1S which are stabilized by the calcium. Now. C1Q binds with the antibody or immunoglobulin. It has 18 polypeptide chain. Basically, they are the protein. So, branching into six flower like bloom connected to one stem. Now, these branches can fix to antibody subunit chain. Further, C1R. So, first component that is C1Q, which is bounding with the immunoglobulin. Now, C1R and C1S are also bound with this chain. Further, this C1S, which is called C1 esterase, when thus activated, acquires the proteolytic activity. So C1S will lead to the proteolytic activity, means breakdown of protein, and cleaves and activate the fourth component of the complement system. Thus, a multi-enzyme casket system is activated, leading to the chemical amplification of the original message. So that is attachment of antibody to the antigen that is message pass on. The final component which when activated create the microscopic hole in the target cell membrane. So what happened when there is a hole is developed? Osmotic entry of water through these pores will cause lysis of the target cell. So the breakdown product when this casket or complement system is working that breakdown product that is C3A and C5A that will activate phag phagocytosis, chemotaxis and immune adherence while increasing the capillary permeability. So next there is a one flow chart that we will look exactly how it is comp activating other component. So microbial polysaccharide when can activate the properdin system which bypass the initial complement components. So there is another system that is properdin but at present we will discuss about this particular complement system. So how that cascade pathway will work that we will look. So first thing that is antibody or immunoglobulin fixes fixing on antigen on cell surface. So first comp component of this complement system that is C1 QRS. Q is attached over the antibody. Now R and S, particular C1S that is activating everything that proteolytic activity. So C2 and 4 component of this complement system that is broken down into a C2A and B, C4A and B. So B part C4B and 2B that will activate third component of this complement complement system so that is c3a will be liberated and c3b that can also lead to the opsonization further c5 will be activated and converted into c5a and c5b now further what happen this c3a and c5a which are produced as a activation of this complement system that lead to the activation of phagocytosis chemotaxis and immune adherence while increase the capillary permeability further this c5b that can lead to the membrane attack by combining with the c6 c7 c8 and 9 let will lead to the cell lysis now that whole casket pathway further you have to remember that c1s that is important rotulitic activity that can be inhibited by this alpha 2 globulin so alpha 2 globulin can inhibit c1 esterase not only that plasmin calicrain and hegman factor that all will be inhibited by this alpha 2 globulin so one disease related to this c1s that you have to remember so c1 esterase inhibitor is absent in hereditary angioneuritic edema that is one type of autosomal dominant disease 
this lead to the uncontrolled activation of early part of the complement system so simple that complement system that is working with the help of the c1s that is need to be inhibited when it is not needed only antigen is present then only it need to be activated but even though in the absence of antigen also if it is activated then that can lead to the so many inflammatory reaction so uncontrolled activation of early part of complement system with generation of kinin like substance so that can lead to the death due to the laryngeal edema so normal c1 but diminished c4 and c1 esterase helpful in diagnosis of this hereditary angioneuritic edema so that you have to remember about this complement system so that's all about important activity of this complement system